Hey what's up YouTube, I'm back again with another CD tweaks, in this video I have 4 CD tweaks to share with you guys, so those CD tweaks will be compatible for those who already use the iOS 11 jailbreak, for those who already on the iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.3.1, also the 11.4 beta 1 up to beta 3. So before I start the video, if you appreciated the video, give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new CD8 Weeks video. Okay, so the first CD8 Week, let me talk about the badges color. So once you download that week, that week will be automatically, uh, will be uh, colorized the badges based on the app color. If you want to take a look at it right now, how is it looks like on my iDevice, this is what the tweak will be provide you with. If we go ahead right now and jump under the settings, we have a respring and we have the enable button here. And also if you want to toggle the always white tax, it is available. So once you're done from all the configuration, go ahead and respring your device so your device will be take the effect and this is the way about that tweak. If you want to colorize the badges, go ahead and download the badges colors. The second CD tweak will be the white apps. So basically the tweak once you download it will be mute most the notifications, the banners and more than that. Let me just go ahead right now and jump under the settings straight away to talking about most of the things or what we have under the settings. So first of all, we have the silent app. So you can pick any kind of application or app from an air and you make it silent. So if you receive any kind of notification, for example, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. So you can pick that up from an air and you will be make it silent. The second options will be for your banners, will be same thing, pick any application from near and make it silent. The other one which gonna be the DND apps, you can pick anyone from near and also we have the LPM, so you can select anyone from there and you will be good to go. So this is what pretty much the quiet apps will be make for your device once you download in your iDevice. If you want to bring that kind of stuff in your iDevice, go ahead and download quiet apps. The next CD tweak I will be talking about the always charging. So basically once you download the tweak, that tweak will be show you always your battery indicator looks like you plug your device on charge. Let me show you guys what I mean here so you can take a look right now here. As I told you guys, it looks like you keep your device on charge. So this is what the tweak will be provide you with once you install it in your iDevice. As I show you guys, if you want to bring that kind of style into your iDevice, go ahead and download the always charging. All right, so the next CD tweak, you might wonder right now and asking about what kind of design or theme or widget that I use right now on the background of all the apps that I use on my iDevice. So this is a widget called Fulls. So once you download that widget, you will be able to customize a lot of things on it. So basically, once you download it, you need to use the XNHTML in order to set that in your iDevice. Let me show you guys. Okay, so by you going to the XNHTML, go ahead and go to home screen from near, go to background widget, go ahead and add the widget into your iDevice. Scroll down till you find the widget that I told you about it, which is called Folds Border. Go ahead and pick that up. Once you tap on it, there is in the middle a settings for that widget. Once you tap on it, it will be provide you with a lot of options. One of the options, what I told you about it, you can customize the size, even the colors. So you can pick the red, the green, the custom color, and also there is some other customized stuff. As I told you guys, once you're done from all the configuration, go ahead and just tap on the save on the right corner and you will be good to go. So this is how it's going to be it looks like once you're done from the configuration or once you download that widget in your iDevice. Anyway guys, if you want to bring that widget, as I told you guys, the widget called false. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. This is the only tweaks that I have for you guys in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, give the video a huge thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new video. Thanks for watching. Catch you with the next one. Peace.